Hey everyone, it's Thomas here. So today we're going to take a look at the systems of my subscriber. Now, for those of you who have sent me your systems and you don't see in my videos, it's just because I have a lot of them and eventually I will get to them. So please be patient. Now, for those of you new to my channel, whenever I make a video like this, I ask that you keep your negative comments to yourself because you now we're here just to have some fun and there's no point making comments hurting other people. Now, before we begin, I just want to say thank you to Mauno for sending me their mic. It's probably their way of telling me that uh, the audio on my channel sucks. So they sent me a real mic. Now, the only thing is that with this mic, I can only use it on my computer. So I can't connect it to this DSLR that I'm using right now to film myself, but I was thinking, you know what? I can use it in the voiceover part of this video. So going forward, whenever I make a video on my subscriber system, I'll be using this mic. Just want to take a moment to say thank you. And you can judge for yourself, how is the audio quality in the second part of this video? All right, so uh, let's start today's video. All right, so let's take a look at uh, Prio, or is it Prio? Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong system seems you really like moon's product you have the same audio moon 330a amplifier as well as the moon 390 dac now i don't recognize your speakers they are the coincident super victory 3 but just by looking at it they look like kick-ass speakers but i think the star here is the turntable definitely caught my attention in fact you know what my wife actually came in just now she's like whoa that looks so cool I actually spent some time reading on it after. So uh, definitely would love to hear it. It's too bad of the COVID situation because you're only six hours away. Now, what I find really cool is that, uh, you know, here we have a really high-end system, but yet for isolation, you're using IKEA chopping boards. Man, that's totally something that I would do. So thanks for sharing a system, especially uh, introducing me to your turntable. Guess I have to start eating a lot of instant noodles to save up for it. So this is John's system. Uh, it has a Sony laptop. That's what he used as source, connected to his TV by HDMI. And then he has a Toslink cable going to his uh, Yulong DAC. It's the DA Art Canary. And he said that it's better than the uh, built-in DAC in his Peachtree Nova integrated amp. So he uses Peachtree as uh, a preamp and he connects it to the Crown 1502 power amp. And then it goes to the Q Acoustic 3050 speaker. And then he has two Anthony Gallo TR210 inch power subwoofer. Now all this is on this homemade stand. And what I like about the system is the fact that the round subwoofer really complements well with the Q acoustic speakers. Now, for those of you who don't know Anthony Gallows, I had their home theater speaker once and they are incredible. So uh, John said that his next step would be to treat the room. So John really likes the system. He said it sounds spatial, detail and 3D. I personally like how it looks together. And uh, thanks John for sharing a system. So moving on, let's take a look at Gary's BMW system. Now, BMW A100 series is special to me because the first high-end speaker I ever heard in my life was the BMW A03D. Now, looking at this photo, it looks like A03 or is it 804 But uh, I know that he got it not long ago, so this it must be the, the most recent model. Now, he has a nice matching center channel, and I like the glossy black finish. Now, of course, what caught my attention is the fact that the place looks so tidy. And that's because he has all his equipment in a separate room on a nice rack. Now, looking at his equipment, you have the Moran's receiver, you have Rotel amps, and you have Oppo as a Blu-ray player. Now, Gary told me that he was looking for something better than an Apple TV. I see a blue sound note there, but I don't know what he got eventually. Hopefully, something that will bring out the full potential of his speakers. Now, I'm a home theater guy myself, so I can appreciate his Sony projector and that beautiful screen. I really envy this room because one thing I don't have is a big room, wide room like this. And I can only imagine what kind of soundstage you can get with this kind of space. 
So Gary, thanks for sharing your system. So this is Guillaume's system. He's from France and he's a young guy. Now he has two systems, one for home theater and one for stereo. For the home theater, he has the Sony DN1080 amp, the PS4 Pro, Xiaomi, that's his source. The speaker, he has the Klipsch RP250F and the RP250C. He has the Velodyne MPAC-10 subwoofer and the BenQ W2700 video projector. Now for his stereo system, he has the Ato IM200 signature, Blue Sound Note 2i as a source. The speaker is the Atom Sirocco 2.0. I'm not sure I pronounced that right. And DIY cables as well as Dynavox speaker cable. Now Guillaume reached out to me a while ago asking uh, if he should buy the Freya and the S400. Now I see that he now has the S400. Hopefully he likes it. Now I told him the shit Freya probably not really worth it for his system because the Ato IN200 is you're already playing in the big leagues. And uh, that's one integrated amp that I really, really like to try. So in the description, I'm going to link to Guillaume's YouTube video. He actually uploaded a video of his system. So Guillaume, I'm like you. I have a dedicated system for home theater and one for stereo. Now, the speaker was quite interesting. I actually went online and researched it. And uh, I thought the inside interior design of it was quite uh, different. So uh, thanks, Guillaume, for sharing your system. And I hope you're enjoying the Bukhar S400s. Next, let's take a look at the Marcus system from Oklahoma. He has a BPI Prime turntable equipped with an Otifon Cardenza red cartridge. I noticed that he has two tone arm on his turntable. He also has a Jelco 85M with a Hamana ML cartridge. Now, can I do the same thing to my Riga P3 turntable? Now, he also has the Roadrunner Eagle PSU combo. It's connected to a tube phono stage, the Andros 1.2 from Zesto and all this sits on a silent running audio isolation platform. Now for his integrated amp, he has a Prima Luna Dialog Premium. Uh, he replaced the stock EL34 tubes with the GoLion EL34 tubes. The speaker is a pair of Focal Area 948. Now uh, I really like uh, Focal speakers myself. And uh, Demarcus said that it has great bottom end, clear highs and super mids for vocal. He finds it very musical and clear sounding with his current setup. On his speakers, he also installed ISO Acoustic Gaia 2. Uh, from my experience, it tightens up the bass. For streaming, he uses a Blue Sound Note streamer and an AudioQuest Niagara uh, 1200 for power conditioner. Finally, he uses Cardus cable. So Demarcus has a very nice dedicated room for music listening. If you notice, there's no TV, no projector, no distraction, unlike me. So it's very clear that when he comes into this room, all he does is listen to music. So Demarcus, I noticed that you have a lot of vinyl. You have a very nice big room. It's clean. It looks good. It's tidy. Uh, I even see cable risers on the floor. So thanks, uh, Demarcus, for sharing your system. Just want to quickly comment. Uh, I myself have been playing with EL34 and KT88 recently uh, with my Cayenne Integrator amp. And I would say one day if you're kind of bored with the EL34 sweet sounding characteristic and you want a bit more oomph in uh, your presentation, give uh, KT88 a try too. All right, so thanks. Next, we have a system from Alexandru. Now he has a pair of Riga RSL speaker and is connected to his Ato IN30. He's running Tidal via J River on Windows on a FIIOE 10K DAC. So Alex is from Romania and he told me that despite him listening to the Kev LS50W on a weekly basis, he's still blown away by these Riga's clarity. I have reviewed the Ato IN30 and for me, it's one of my favorite integrated amp. I really like that despite it's not really expensive, it sounds so smooth. And thanks Alex for sharing your system. So next, let's take a look at Nell's system. Now Nell comments on my YouTube channel frequently. So thanks Nell and to a lot of you for always commenting on my channel. 
it's really cool to get to see your system. So now has the BMW CM5 loudspeakers, Hego P20 preamp, Rotel RB1552 power amp, topping D50 DAC with a Raspberry Pi, Maran's UD5005 universal player, Project Expression 3 with Autophone 2M blue cartridge, a shit many phono stage, and a Energy EXL8 subwoofer. So now I see you have pulled your speakers away from the front wall. I always say if you want a good sound stage, you have to pull your speakers away from the front wall. So Nell told me that uh, he was really surprised with the Hegel P20. Now his friend lent it to him, and when he replaced his Rotel with it, he noticed the sound stage and the imaging was way better. He was really impressed with the, the change. I've always said in my past video, you give it something really good in the front end, like the preamps, the amps, and the DAC. It's incredible what speakers today can do. Now, I've never heard the Topping D50 uh, now, but if it's like 80% of the D90 that I have, man, you don't need to upgrade for a long, long time. So now, thanks for sharing your system. You know, I, I really like that cover you have, that Nintendo Entertainment System on your TV. You know, I should get one of that for my own uh, TV when I want to go into critical listening. So with this, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.